Something's happening. We've known it for a long time. The West knew it. Here's the problem. America is addicted to oil. It is inconceivable to me that our children be able to maintain the American way of life and that the world will be full of resource-based wars of all kinds. The East knew it. It will provide for a significant increase in the volume of foil supplies from Russia to China. We've known it for a century. There is no doubt about our absolute and complete dependence on oil. Without oil, civilization as we know it could not exist. Oil was running out. It's what we grew up in. Post-Middle East, post-peak oil, post-everything what they called the long emergency. It started slow, little things at first, lines at the pump. That hot summer of 2008, when the blackout started lasting weeks. The avian influenza hit in 09. I got taken out of school when there wasn't enough vaccine. They said it would get better, something would save us. Biofuels, solar power, cleaner nuke plants, maybe. The depression hit in 2012. Africa ran out of food, then we did too. People stopped trying to do anything about the problems and just tried to survive. We'd watched them starve for 40 years and it didn't seem real. But pretty soon the scenes we used to watch on the news were happening just on the street. It's been happening for years. Now, we're at the tipping point. I was 16 when the Chinese and the Russians figured out they'd rather fight us than each other. We didn't waste time forming the coalition. Now, we're staring each other down across the last wells in the Caspian. I left school for the affiliated press and they sent me overseas. Out here in Turkmenistan, you can see it clearer. In little prefab towns, the oil boom left in Central Asia. This is where it's going to happen. In towns too small to have a name, built in two weeks by oil industry contractors. It's 2024, the 21st century. People ask me how we let this happen. I tell them, we always knew. The storm is coming.